Hey Cancers, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Cancers, what's going on with you this week? Messages for Cancers. Okay, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, messages for Cancers, please. What's going on with Councils? Councils. Okay. Whoa, Two of Cups. Okay. Then we have the King of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, and the Three of Cups. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? With this two of cups energy, soulmate energy coming through, a king of pentacles, someone loyal, stable, wanting something loyal, three of cups, possibly a reconciliation, dating someone. Some of you have found the love of your life. You found your soulmate. Okay. Ooh, some of you are going to find your soulmate. Okay. That's what I just heard. Going to find. Mm. Some of you have already found this person. It's a strong connection. Now, I, I, blah, 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 blah. As I always say, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> as I always say, this, the stories could be flipped or reversed. So please put the characters where they go. This could be you or your person that I'm picking up. Okay. <laughs> I make fun of myself. Don't worry. Okay. Two of cups for cancers. Let's get right into it. Two of cups. We have the queen of wands, fire sign energy, seven of swords, Six of Pentacles. Who? Could be dealing with the Taurus for some of you. Harfont at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is very attracted to someone. Seven of Swords sneaking in to make this. I just heard confession. Six of Pentacles is like having a conversation with you or this person. Someone is like sneaking around trying to have... <laughs> Trying to come up with a plan here to converse or conversate. Show me. Five of Swords. A strategy here. Four of Cups. Ten of Swords. Who? What is happening? What is happening, <laughs> y'all? Ten of Swords. Three of Wands. Oh, okay. Okay. Cancer, someone is wondering where you went or what happened with you. This could be an earth sign wondering like what happened with you. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Did you sneak away from someone? You haven't been talking to someone. Someone's been waiting for you to reach out to talk to them. They haven't heard from you. And this is making this person feel very defensive is what I'm getting. Because you are in the Queen of Wands energy. Whoa. Three cards just flipped out. Yeah. Look at that. Someone is wanting to take a leap of faith, but they haven't heard from you. Communication has not come in with Ace of Swords. And so there's been stress here. Nine of Swords. A lot of worry about why they haven't heard from you or why this hasn't gotten started. What's this King of Pentacles? Show me. Whoa, whoa. Knight of Cups? Ten of Cups. Whoa, okay. Page of Cups. Could be someone a bit younger than you for some of you. This person, they want to talk to you. They want to come in. They see emotional fulfillment with you. With the Ten of Cups. Yeah, star card, you are their wish. You are this person's wish. Six of cups, god damn. Past life soulmate energy, ace of cups. Cancer. Woo. I feel like someone is thinking heavily about this communication. Like someone could be upset and worried here. For others of you, you could have just met a brand new person and it's going very well. 
Some of you are, are meeting a very stable person. I feel like this person is a bit of a teddy bear. Like they're very sweet. Very sweet person. If you just met someone recently, maybe a few months ago for some of you, I feel like this person is very sweet. But you did have to walk away from someone that you thought was your soulmate and that you waited on. You waited to see where things were going to go with another person. And because they never went anywhere, some of you have met someone else or you're going to. You're going to meet someone. Remember I was saying that? Wow. Let me keep going. What is this three of cups for cancers? Three of cups. Oh, wow. Ten of wands, six of swords, five of cups. Why did you go? Why did you leave? Someone is wondering, two of pentacles, why did you go? Where are you? I'm telling you, Cancer, someone is trying to figure out why you're not talking to them. What happened to you? Why did you leave? There's a lot of regret here. You could be wondering this about someone as well. Why did you go? Why did you leave? When you were my soulmate. Two of cups. Who is this person who cancer is dealing with? Eight of cups. Yeah. All this cups energy could be a water sign for some of you. Someone at a distance. Two of wands. Someone trying to figure out what path to go down. Hanging man. Piscean energy. Someone is seeing and realizing something here that they have feelings, King of Cups. They have feelings for you. This is all they can think about. Eight of Swords with the King of Cups stuck in their thoughts, missing you, Five of Pentacles. Was this a missed opportunity for someone? They desire you, desiring to have a new start or restart something. With the world card, new cycle beginning, they're feeling very conflicted about how to talk to you. It's almost like they don't want you to know how much they miss you. What is this person wanting to say to Cancers at this time? Libra's energy, justice. Capricorn's energy, the devil. And the eight of pentacles. Ooh, this person could have fucked up bad. Yeah, they're wa wanting to right their wrongs here, wanting to bring justice into the situation, making things right, balancing out the scales, because there was some type of toxicity in this connection, and they're very focused on working on this addiction I just got. I just saw the word addiction. Someone is working on their addiction, Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work, working on something that they've been struggling with. This person has been struggling with something. Whoa, hermit energy. Yeah. Maybe it was something that they refused to see in the past. They didn't think that they had an issue or a problem in the past, but now this person is working on it. They're planning to come out of hermit mode. Could be a Virgo for some of you. Could be a Scorpio for some of you with the tower at the bottom of the deck. Kaboom. Could be a fellow Cancer. Could be a Sagittarius. These are all major arcanas, you guys. Justice, Devil, Hermit, Tower, Chariot, Temperance. This person is going through a major life change. Major life change. Whoa. They're manifesting having something more stable with you. Look, King and Queen of Pentacles. They want something stable here. Okay. Wow. It's been taking time for this person to come in. But man, they want to come in in a big way. Like boom. It may be a shocker. Yeah. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. The lovers. Gemini's energy with the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is wanting to like sweep you off your feet here. Ooh. 
Okay. We'll just fill out seven of pentacles. Knight of pentacles. Yeah, coming in with something more stable. Willing to invest now. Investing time. I just got time. Look, in the will of fortune. If you know my channel, I always say the Wheel of Fortune reminds me of a clock. This person is now going to invest time in you. So time may have been a big deal for you. Maybe this person didn't give you the time of day or they wasted a lot of time or they were saying that they were busy or something like that. They didn't invest time in you before. I see it here. That was very clear. Thank you, Spirit. So how is Cancer feeling about this person, this situation? Two of Swords, okay? Temperance. Queen of Pentacles. I see you opening back up to this person with the Queen of Pentacles energy. I already showed you that that's what they want as well. But you need time. Now you need time. They took their sweet time and it's like, now you're saying, I'm not sure. I need time. Temperance. Two of swords, uh, I'm not sure. Temperance, I need to think about it. Patience. I need to think about if this is what I really want with you. Queen of Pentacles, I do see you opening back up. Show me. The death card could be to a Scorpio, opening back up to a Scorpio or Sagittarius. Show me. Or a Taurus. You have a Taurus on your mind. The hard font. Yeah. Something will transform out of this if you want it. If you want it. I see you contemplating it. You're thinking about it. You still need time. Yeah. Yeah. This is what you want. You're saying to me, Cancers, if this person is willing to step it up to marriage, some of you are heavily dealing with a Taurus because we have their energy here and their energy here with the Empress. Taurus Libra. You're saying if this person is willing to step up and actually have a relationship with you, this is what you're wanting. But some of you are still in contemplation mode. Could be a Pisces. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. You still feel a spiritual connection with this person. You do. You feel a connection with them. High Priest, High Priestess. What do they want to say to Cancers at this moment? Judgment. Tower. Scorps energy back to back. Nine of Wands. They don't want to let this go. They also don't want a tower mo moment with you. They don't want to fight. They don't want to break up or blow up here. They're holding on and they feel sad. This person feels very sad. They feel wounded right now. Okay. Sorry, they're doing lawn care outside, you guys. Sorry for that noise. Potential outcome for this week between Cancers and this person. Queen of Swords. Three of Swords. Oh, we pulled two. Leo's energy back to back. Could be a Leo. Or someone with that energy. Strength and the sun. Hmm. Woo. One day, someone is like, one day it'll turn around. But this week, there's a lot of guardedness and protecting from being hurt. Okay? You may not want to show this person how much you're hurting and vice versa, okay? Both of you are trying to be strong and focus on being positive. Strength with the sun. It's like, okay, this week, I don't want to feel the hurt. I don't want to feel the pain. Let me just focus on the positive and positive things, positive people. It's like <laughs> neither one of y'all want to feel the sting of this connection. And you almost hate how much you miss each other because it's very painful, I do see it. Yeah, this person is manifesting, coming in, talking. Could be an apology for some of you with the page of uh, pentacles there. Who is this person who Cancer is dealing with? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Who is this person who Cancer is dealing with? 
Mars. I feel like this is coming out for everybody. <laughs> this has come out for all three readings today. Uh, Taurus, Gemini, now you. Mars energy, the energy of an emperor, Aries. Mercury, energy of Gemini. Aquarius. I feel like Aquarius has come out for everyone too. Ooh, we have Saturn at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn's energy coming through strong. Your opposite sign. So I feel like here, this person has a lot to say. <clears throat> this is a very smart person. If they have Mercury in Aquarius or Mars in Aquarius, I feel like this is a person who, like, I think I said that on your last reading, like your words mean a lot to this person. So they listen to everything you say. When you have Mercury in, in Aquarius, which is an air sign, air signs rule communication. Mercury rules Gemini, which rules communication. So this person is all about what you say and how you say it. Words really affect this person on a deep level. Okay, that's what this is telling me. And vice versa, you could be saying the same thing. Words really affect you. Whatever this person has to say or whatever they have said to you in the past may have deeply affected you, okay? That energy of Mars, this is a fighter, a warrior, okay? The energy of Aries. So this is a person who doesn't just, you know, take whatever. This is a very competitive type person. They may be even uh, like a debater. Like this person likes to debate, they like to see how smart you are. Intelligence may be very attractive to them or to you. That may be a turn on like how intelligent a person is, how smart they are or the way someone thinks. It's all about thoughts and communication with this person or the situation. Wow. Okay. What does this person want to say to cancer? Divine spirit, Holy Spirit. What does this person, <laughs> all the cards want to come out. I long for you. What does this person want to say to cancers at this time? I love to see you happy. Yeah, they may want to make you happy, make you smile. Physical touch. Yeah, tempted to touch you. Wanting that closeness, that physical intimacy with you. Look at that infatuation. Woo! You consume this person's every thought with infatuation. We have acts of service. They would like to do things for you or anything you've done for them. They remember. I'm smiling from ear to ear. Yeah. You make this person smile. Yeah. They love your smile. They love to see you smile. I feel like this person may look at your pictures. If you have pictures or if they have pictures of you, this person may look at your pictures and just start smiling like out of nowhere. And one more. Okay. You won my heart. Wow. Yeah. This person is definitely in love, infatuated at the bottom of the deck. My family loves you. Woo. Okay. The family loves you. Who is this person? Give us some letters for this person. Who is this person who cancers are dealing with? What are the letters coming through? We have the letter Z. Could be Zach, Zachary. Zion is what I'm getting. They could be Jewish for some of you. B. E. The letter F. What's coming through? The letter K. The letter X. The letter R. And let's get one more. The letter G is coming through. Okay. And let's come over to this deck. What's the sexual energy between cancers and this person? What's the sexual energy between cancers and this person? Beg for it. <laughs> okay. Oh, this person like to play hard to get. I feel like they want to know that you want it just as bad as they do. Beg for it. Get on your knees. Talk dirty to me. They like nasty talk. 
What is this? I touch myself just thinking of you. I think Jim and I just got this. Woo. Woo. It's been a while. The two of you may not have connected in that way, or it's been a while for the two of you. I touch myself just thinking of you. Self-pleasuring. Spit on it now. Oof. It's mine. This is a very dominant person, whoever they are. They nasty and bite me. Bite me, bite me. Mm. Oof. Somebody like to bite. <laughs> okay. When can... <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly. When can uh, cancers expect this person? Timelines, please. Possibly in April. On a Wednesday for some of you, that may be significant. August may be significant. And one more. Could be on the 24th through the 31st. Those dates may be significant for you. Let's go to the Romance Angels. Advice for, okay, this connection. Deception. Ooh. You know what I feel with this? It says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. You know what I feel with this right away? That energy that I got for the potential outcome. Masking the fact that the two of you are actually missing each other a lot and actually hurting. That's what the Queen of Swords does. She puts up a defense. So I see cold. Everything is cool. Everything's fine. But behind that mask is a lot of hurt. Okay. That's the deception. And it's like the two of you are deceiving each other. You're only deceiving yourselves because the two of you have a lot of feelings for each other. Okay. What else? Passion is here. Absolutely. Very passionate connection. Let's, oh, one more shout out. Healing family issues. Wow. So it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Some of you have childhood issues or this person could, vice versa. And I feel like if you've dealt with a lot of hurt as a kid or just growing up, maybe your first crush broke your heart or something like that. Some of you have carried that. And I know cancers carry pain for a long time. Cancers have the memory of an elephant. So you remember every fucking thing like photographic memory, right? So with cancers, you may need to heal those issues within yourself because you may feel like, okay, everyone walks away. Everyone abandons. Everyone hurts. All people are cheaters, you know. You may not have the best outlook when it comes to love. You may not have seen the best love examples in your life. I'm getting that very specifically. Some of you didn't have parents to show you like what love was between, you know, a couple. You may not have seen that growing up for a lot of you. So there's a need to heal those family issues and your person. Remember, they could be going through this as well. Alrighty, Cancers, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you guys. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I will talk to you soon. Bye.